Uh, turns out OBS is uh, not showing chat, so that's cool. Also, probably don't want a fan whirring in the background. There you go. Anyways, three, two, one. Ah, I, I did not clap right, and I also got to the next intermission music in one go. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream, and it is the Beardow stream at twitch.tv slash Beardow, or YouTube, whatever. I don't, I've done this a million times before. My name is Beardow, and today is the 30th of May, 2022. It's the end of May. Uh, you may be sad that it's the end of May, but I'm not, because it's cold, and I really don't want it to be cold anymore. Being cold is not very fun. So, um, rug up, s put on your snorkel, and away we go, because, you know, get rid of, get rid of the cold. That's all I can say. Um, let's see if I can reshow chat on my side, because, there it is. Cool. Okay. Uh, but yeah, no, today's the 30th of May, uh, we just came out of, um, what was it, the Monaco Grand Prix just happened? Nothing really too big happened. Uh, this past week, but I've got a couple of uh, items to go to and uh, the first item is obviously uh, Let us Switch to the game, so I'm still playing more Mario Galaxy 2 as you may see and you may have known by the video slash stream title That's okay um, But yeah, no pretty much the streams gonna be let's get another 20 stars while riffing on things that may or may not matter and yeah, who knows? Who knows what will happen? We'll derail the conversation into whatever whatever we want. Ah, oh, Princess Peach included five one-up mushrooms. I was about to say fifteen. Um, so it's not it's not fifteen. It's just five. Give me your star bits. I found one. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, this past week has been pretty alright. I've um, I think I've mentioned handful of streams in a row, um, and especially after the first stream that I, uh, was recovering from a bit of an illness, um, and I don't know why, but you get, like, you get that long-term, like, you never feel like you're quite 100%, um, but, you know, every, every week I feel better and better and better, and, uh, I feel like this week, you know, like, I'm done. I want to say I'm done. I want to say I'm really like 100% back to normal. Uh, you never truly know, but it's always um, it's always something where you just want to like, you know, you get the nerves. You're always just like, oh, am I am I really feeling 100%? And then it's just like, nah, like I, I I've got to feel 100%. And that's that's I guess a general vibe that perhaps um, I don't have any examples of that ever happening uh, this week. Um, but it's just a general thing. I really, really, um, feel like, uh, also, by the way, no doubt, sorry, I'll just <laughs> interrupt my ramblings about being sick and just to commentate on this level. I like how it starts off by immediately going, this is, uh, well, it's not Death Sand, but it's too strong. So it's a Galaxy of No Streams be right here. Ah! True! I, well, this is Galaxy 2, so if it's, if it's not Galaxy 1, it's Galaxy 2. Um, but yeah, no, uh, glad to, glad to be here under the Mario Galaxy category on Twitch, and glad you are here to watch me, uh, struggle my best. Um, and I love, I love this room as well, just because the gravity follows you around slopes. Uh, too bad I'm about to cheese it. There you go, you can totally cheese this whole bit, we'll do it normal. Love Galaxy 1 and 2, got preference? I do prefer Galaxy 2, uh, just slightly. Um, both are really, really good games, but I love the, uh, the kind of, like, faster-paced variety that, uh, 2 lays itself out with. There just seems to be more going on with it. Um, but they're both really, really good games. So this is, this is how you're supposed to do this bit, by the way. You go around, and now you've got the gravity going around this way. And then you get this fun little bit where the box decides to... Oops. Did I botch that up? I probably did. Probably had to wait on the box. Well, as long as, as long as there's no Hungry Luma. That I can remember off the top of my head. Uh, I think the orange one would be a, a secret surprise, wouldn't it? So, how about, let's... Uh, Galaxy 1 is relaxing, Galaxy 2... Yeah, Galaxy 1 is, is absolutely bonkers. Okay, that wasn't quite what I was wanting. 
I'm really curious, because it's just- I don't think I've ever gone in that orange, and I'm trying to recover from falling. I guess- I guess I can, you know, wall jump back up. Uh, do I- the bots, I don't know. I never know what's up with the bots. They seem to love my channel. Okay, no, no, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on the block. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, it's always, it's always one singular bot, so, because yeah, this orange one would be a, maybe the green one was a secret. This is a launch stop. Okay, <laughs> maybe we'll figure it out, um, in due time. Now, what's further down here, or can you... I'm curious, what's further down here? It, it looks like I'm not going anywhere, but trust me, I'm getting there. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Go back so fast. All right. Uh, but yeah. Uh, but yeah. Just to, just to finish up on the topic of feeling sick, don't fall. Um, sickness is never fun. Always look after yourself. Uh, I feel like I'm saying really nothing, but ultimately, uh, I feel like. Just, uh, you ever have, like, the, those people who, uh, you know, like, the, the self-help science? Uh, thank you for the follow. Um, I, I always, like, wonder how so much alternative science, <laughs> this is a weird, a weird tangent, but it's just like, you know how, like, I mean, I mean, a lot of people know someone who, you know, gets into some alternative science or something. Variety. Like, not like, oops, 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 no, no, I'm gonna, uh, you know what I mean, it's just like, it's just like, people have a, have a belief, uh, not a belief, how do I, how do I phrase it in a way that doesn't sound like I'm spewing nonsense, but also that other people have nonsense, you know what I mean, like, just, just like, things like placebo, where it's just like, if you believe that you're well, you will therefore be more likely to actually be well, and not just like, you know, not just like, oh, well, people who think they're well are more likely to be well. It's like, you know, if you actually control it, somehow it seems to work out. It's that kind of stuff. It's just like, there's things out there where it's like, y you know, having a positive mindset just somehow seems to work out. So, I don't know. Um, I'm not really saying much, but... Uh, but yeah, uh, like, I don't know, spiritual wellness? Yeah, spiritual wellness. I don't really, like, I don't really know what to, like, truly believe when it comes to, also, Turbo, Turbo Bird right here. I love this bit, it reminds me of the, um, legendary sand bird from, uh, from, uh, Sunshine. Although I don't think he dives through things, I think, oh, no, his blocks do dive through things, I think. It's a nice, good, fun section. Um, yeah, Sunshine's got this. Which was the one that had the bird that broke off, like, as it's past it? Like, it was exactly like this, but, uh, you know, just a different game. Dude, I- I'm in the same- I'm in the same boat where I don't really love Sunshine. I think it's alright, but it is clunky, and it's clunky in a way that Mario 64 isn't, and that's a bit of a- that's a bit of a tough pill to swallow, uh, for some who really, really like all three. Um, I think, I think people get, like, antsy about the more linear design of Galaxy 1 and 2, and they'll go like, ah, oh, Sunshine's great, but then it's just, I don't know, they're all different games in their own regard. And for Sunshine, the only thing I don't like is that it's more Mario 64, but also slightly less, in some way. Um, I tried laying it on Switch, playing on Switch, and it was horrific, 64 had better game- Yeah, I, I do agree that 64 is better gameplay. I think the levels in 64, like, sometimes don't quite have the variety that you know, they could. Um, there's that galaxy done. Obviously, there's a comet coming up. Uh, I shall do the last galaxy in this before we touch the Hungry Luma. Shiverburn Galaxy. Uh, but yeah, no, Sunshine, the... I guess, it, did you play it on... If you play it on the Switch, have you played it on the GameCube? Because one thing that I worry I can't... I wouldn't get used to on the Switch version is... Um, you have two different buttons for the two different, like... Uh, strengths of spraying water. Um, never had a GameCube. Ah, yeah. Yeah, so there were two buttons uh, for spraying water on the Switch version, but on uh, on the GameCube it was one button. Uh, it would 
yeah, it would just be the trigger, and you'd uh, press the trigger, you know, harder or softer, depending on how heavy you want that. And I feel like that's a that's a mechanical thing. First console of the week. Ah, yeah, that's a mechanical thing that I don't think um, is quite accurately carried over to the Switch version. They did it with two buttons, and I think it works. Um, but it's it's not quite perfect, and that's something that Nintendo has. Uh, Seem to do a handful of times, like, none of their consoles have particularly emulated the Nintendo 64 button layout perfectly. None of their consoles have emulated the, uh, the GameCube's controller triggers, because none of their controllers have analog triggers after the GameCube. I know, it's a really weird thing. Uh, Mini Galaxy 2 on the Switch? I am amazed they never did do Galaxy 2 on the Switch as well, considering Galaxy 2 is one on the Wii U, and I believe, is Galaxy 2 on the, on the um, the shield? Because I know Galaxy 1 is, and that's the, that's like the strangest one to me, uh, and if anyone doesn't know that, is that the, um, the NVIDIA Shield TV has the ability to play Mario Galaxy. Nintendo put Mario Galaxy on a non-Nintendo console, I guess? Oh, check this guy out, he's just chilling here. Because it's ice, you got the time? Time to take on the chimp. I don't think Galaxy 2 is on. Ah, done. It is on the Wii U though, so at least it's got that. And to be honest, like, Wii copies go, you know, Wiis are not very expensive, and I don't think copies of the game on the Wii are really that, um, you know, hard to find. Uh, so, it's not, it's not entirely lost to time, but it's definitely one where it's like, oh, it's lost to current systems. And Nintendo is eternally guilty of that, but... But on the other hand, it's like, yeah, sometimes I agree that, like, sometimes games don't, you know, translate well to newer controllers the best. Um, if they're using, like, funky, uh, you know, ways to play it. Um, I think every single rhythm game is gonna be the same thing. Galaxy wants 70, 70 quid? Do the Wii going retro? Jeez. I'm gonna have to check uh, Australian prices between stars, but... Alright, give me some gold ones. And I'm not... I, I pushed it last time, I was really pushing it, but... 540 points, well, let's try it again. Yeah, I mean, granted it was two away, because... You know, but I hit, I hit too many, I hit too many of the spiky boys. You gotta know where they're gonna be. Like, if you, if you don't, I guess, swing around the outside, you're kind of caught out. Oh, like that. Alright, let's get the goal one at least. But yeah, if, you, if you're not knocking them all out of the park, you, you lose all your time. I got the goal one, it's cool. I got 640. Two guys. Let me check my eBay. Uh, just, just, I'm gonna do an eBay search for Galaxy 2. I can't believe you beat my score. You may be my eternal rival when it comes to gaming. He is a gamer. And he claps, that's my thing. Alright, I'm just gonna type Super Mario Galaxy 2. Uh, disc only, 25. Uh, pre-owned, 2530. 40. Games don't get too crazy pricey here in Australia. I feel like when they're, yeah, when they're, um, pre-owned, they're not too bad. I think it's because a lot of Australia is, you know, in that eastern coastal region and, and postage is fairly, fairly well priced here, so it's not too much an issue. Um, but, yeah, a Amazon, it might be crazy. Um, I don't, I don't, we don't use Amazon too much for, like, third-party selling in Australia. They only recently, like, added Amazon Australia, um, as a warehouse, like, only a few years ago. Um, and, uh, but yeah, I don't really know, like, we don't do too much third-party selling there, because usually you have to deal with overseas stuff. Uh, gotta get yourself a Wii and replay Galaxy 2 and prop scribe because this game gives you so much nostalgia. Dude, yeah, like, and nostalgia is a powerful thing. Um, and I find that, like, there's a handful of games where it's just like, yeah, I, I did enjoy it as a kid, and it's so hard to get into now. 
but this is a game that is just like, you know, this game holds. And there's a lot of games that I've played that probably hold. Yes. Hey, so it's the same boss as before, but slightly less health. Did I even take a hit last time? I think I did take one. So, let's do it slightly better. It is the same fight though, so. Alas, the perfect streak of, you know, of uh, stars being original all the time. When I first saw the trailer for Galaxy 1 on Switch, I was screaming. Dude, yeah, I, I was kind of surprised that uh, they even did do the, um, the, uh, the All-Stars pack. I think there were, there were teasers of it. Uh, there we go, there we go. I was like, let's try and throw the fireballs but not fall too much in the center there. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was maybe a little um, off kilter for Nintendo. Usually they don't re-release things, ever. I know they've got a, say for example, Metro Prime Trilogy, but like that was a, a fairly like at the time thing. That's a bit disappointing. I. I was like, oh, that one's not going to hit me, I'm too close, and then, and then it hit me, so. Also, the fight took like a minute and a half. <laughs> and that took 20 seconds, so, cool. I never said it was going to be easy. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm curious, like, why games in Australia don't get, like, too crazy pricey? At least, like, I mean, I guess... You know, if, if they're rare, they're rare, but I feel like we don't have as many, like, collectors. So usually when a game is, like, it's a like, thing upside down... Oh, I, I mean... I mean, if you saw that earlier part in this game, it seems, like, you know, very natural. I appreciate the more music cue telling me I have missed the ship has sailed. Oh. Uh, but yeah, no, be being in Australia is like pretty chill. Um, there's nothing really too weird about Australia. Uh, like, I guess, yeah, we, we drive on the left side. Well, I guess you're in England, so it doesn't matter. You know, you drive on the left side as well. Uh, but. Ooh. Yeah, no, Australia is pretty cool. We, um, yeah, mo most of Australian consumption of media, like, we get a lot of, like, US media, um, but we do get European versions of games. Oh! I, I was like, man, nah, you definitely take the hit. Uh, I couldn't live in Australia because of dance spiders. Spiders only affect you too much if, uh, you have uh, greenery, they're not too bad in the, um, uh, I guess, like, I, I, I just live in an apartment right now, so, uh, they, they don't get me too much. They do still rock up, but you don't get, like, the really scary ones, um, you don't get the, the really scary ones unless you've got, like, greenery, otherwise you just get, like, the little ones that... You know, they're just common, like, household, like, pests, like, having to fly in your house, basically. It's just like, oh, you know, don't bother them, they don't ever do anything back to you. They'll leave at some point. Did it really close up on that one? Jeez. Um, now that being said, uh, if you do have greenery, the dangerous spiders are not fun. Not having a fun time like queuing this up. Like he seems to be throwing one of these bombs. And he opens his mouth, and then I've just gotta move to it. Yeah, I gotta I guess I gotta preempt him. I haven't thought too much about this boss. I've been kind of like automatic moding him. Alright, alright. Now the I was say, these bombs, like, don't seem to be despawning, do they? Not those ones. My strategy never really changed. It was just the execution, apparently, <laughs> so... I, uh... 
But, well, at least I got it eventually. If I have a stream at the same time, I'll defo raid your good stream. Oh, thank you, my man. Thank you, bro, man. Yeah. Nah, I just do it for the casual stuff, but if you wanna if you wanna share and all that stuff, that's cool. That's cool. I just I just play play nice games that I enjoy and then hopefully some people come in and go, ah yes. You know, tell tell me your stories of games and, and uh you know, how how do we bounce bounce off on that and bit of combo. It's always good fun. That took me five minutes, jeez. Five minutes of whatever in-game time I feel like it's probably a little more. Okay, back to Shiverburn and to get the actual star, not just the secrets. I am peeking so hard on my mic, jeez. Um, did I bump the... I don't know if I bumped it. Is my gain up? My gain is all the way down. This is a... no, it's... it wasn't all the way down. Cool. <laughs> cool. Okay, okay, let's, let's just keep that as, at a comfy level. Prince Picante, it's peppery mood. Peppery mood. Oh, I got Luigi now, cool. Yeah, nah, I, I, I just gotta make sure I'm not, like, talking too loud uh, that I'm peeking, because it's not fun. Um, like, what's the what's the general mixing rule? It's like, have the background audio be, uh, like... I, I was gonna say, like, 25%, but because it's decibels, percentage doesn't really mean much. Um, but I, I like to keep the, the audio at, um, like, 10 decibels less than what I'm saying, and that should be about, you know... You know, the game audio is half as loud as I am, so when I'm talking... You know, that's it. I ground... I did the thing... I did the thing where I... I actually... I think I jumped off the edge on that one. I was gonna say the, uh... Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a good level. Uh... I feel like as Luigi, you can actually, like, do this, like, crazy good jump here. And you can get all the way to the other side of this planet without needing to actually, like, unfreeze it. Oh, yes! Yes! Where are they? Where are the people? There they are! The weird people! <laughs> I gotta point them out. I gotta point them out. I, I, I knew what you were referring to immediately. I was like, oh yeah, this is the galaxy! Yeah, I... Whoever whoever at Nintendo decided to put people up a... Oh! 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 Okay. Alright, we're safe. We're safe. Whoever decided to put people on that cliff, I swear. You know, absolute legends. Any, like, person who legitimately, like, feeds fan theories, uh, provided they're not changing source media for localization purposes, um, like, you know, that's neat. Can I break this by just... there you go. Die, coconut. It's gone. Alright. Let's get that comet metal. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is uh, this is a bit of a, pre a uh, precarious uh, spot. I'll tell you that. So as that was a bit of fun popping, wasn't it? So as Shiverburn Galaxy, it's therefore gonna have ice and lava touching each other, and the uh, lava just you know the lava itself is melting. I thought I touched something just then, but you know I'll accept I'll accept not touching it. Oh. Oh. Okay. We're good. Uh, you gotta go. See you later. Okay. See you, my man. Have a good one. Yeah, what a, what a nice fun, fun combo. Oh, I gotta deal with five of these guys. Alright, so these guys are str have I Have I fought any of these guys in this game? I don't know if I have. But effectively, you just rebound the, uh, the coconuts, and I don't remember hitting one of them. I'm glad they give you the, the health there, because that's a bit insane. And now we got the reverse. Ice cubes making platforms, and I have run out of platforms. And then I froze myself even as well. Wow. That's amazing. That's awesome. So cool. Now I gotta... Do I have to do all that? I think I do. I'm going real gutsy. Like, I don't, I don't think the game just casually got harder. I think I'm just going real gutsy on my playing. Um, but that's okay. I can, I can stop. I take it back. This game is uh, a lot harder than I think some people give it credit. I'm looking at this going, yeah, 
Nah, man, they're, they're demanding. This is this is the part of the game that they know they're a sequel, and they just go for it, and that's all right. You know what I mean? Like, there are some games that like they don't realize they're sequels. If they oh, I gotta I gotta not do that. Just like not rush it, not rush it, not rush it. Okay, just, just I can go now. I can go. That's backflip. <laughs> Luma Lee, Luma Bop, I will skip the Luma shop. As well as the guy who's probably gonna explain how this boss works. Does anyone even remember this guy? It's just King Caliente, but, uh, not King Caliente, it's, uh, <laughs> Prince Picanti. Completely different. I mean, he, he's almost the same boss in theory as well. They've got the whole, you know, lava pools on the ice thing going on, but. Effectively the same boss, wait for him to shoot the non-fiery coconut. Oh. I hope you just saw that there's regular coconuts in this mix as well. Which counts? And that's the wonderful part. Now I'm angry! It's a bit too easy to dodge him though, he's not fast and he doesn't go particularly far. But he does fire a bit of stuff. What is oh! Not prepared for that one. Uh, oh, still not prepared for that one. And I'm on the lava. Is this gonna spit one? Is this gonna spit one? Give me a slow ball. Where? I, oh, there, there it is. Oh, there we go. Pretty, pretty quick fight. Oof. And here's the star. While Luigi's dabbing right there. Yeah, you, you know what I mean? It's like, there are sequels out there that, that don't, you know, acknowledge the fact that there was a first game. And I, I understand some are because, oh, maybe they want to kind of reimagine the game in a little bit, but not just, you know, leaving the first game's players behind. But it's not a reboot. Uh, what's, a, what's a great example of that? Um, uh, what's, what's one off the top of my head? Where it's just like, the second game is... Enough like the first one that it clearly is a sequel, but... Oh, I'm really trying to recall this. Oh. A letter address and the baby Luma has arrived! <laughs> Gosh. There are many kind-hearted people out there who are watching over you. I hope the attached item is helpful. May the star shine down on you. Okay. There were 50 star bits. No return address. Oh, cool. 50 star bits helps. And then Luigi is very happy. He's out exploring the universe. You know, what do you... What do you, you can't diss him, he's out, he's out saving, exploring the universe. Um... Well, maybe I'll get to it. I played a couple of games this week, and I thought it'd be interesting to note them. Uh, so the first game I played this week was... NASCAR 15. <laughs> what a, uh... What a, what a game. Uh, NASCAR 15, I think I bought for like two dollars, and uh, Octo Army Icy Rainbow Run. Well, there you go, it's a, uh, it's at least not a Daredevil, it's uh, something a little more involved. They got rid of the barriers though, I don't know what's going on there. But, you know, let's see, let's see how easy this is. Oh, don't, don't start the clock here. They start the clock here. Alright, well, you get effectively 44 seconds of 42 seconds of doing this. At least I don't move the camera on you. Oh. Oh. I don't quite know if I'm gonna get it. I'm, I'm trying my best here. Uh. Let's, let's focus on the corner. There we go. Should be good. At the moment. There we go. Um, yeah, NASCAR 15 is a it's a game. I don't know much about NASCAR. I know the stereotypes of the the hard southern. Uh, I was gonna say truckers, not really truckers, but you know what I mean, like the very thick 
Central American accent, um, you know, hot desert summer, um, cars going around in an oval several hundred times, um, kind of thing. And I haven't played enough of NASCAR 15 to get to... There's actual tracks in there. I know they do Indianapolis a couple of times, and one is the oval layout, and one is the, the different, you know, actual layouts where you have to break and turn, but... I've also yet to play any of them. I've done, I think, four or five different oval layouts. Um, so there's that. Uh, this game itself is incredibly buggy. It uh, seems to crash a fair bit. It seems to start at the wonderful resolution of 720 by 372 every single time I start it. It's very annoying. Um, I have to run the game in not ultra texture detail because otherwise I can't paint my car and that's okay if it, the game wasn't- Oh, well you got a new sponsor, you have to manually paint your own car. Which means I have to dip the graphics settings, so cool. Uh, it also likes to just crash randomly on its own. It also hates running with the Steam overlay. I re realize I need to withdraw 1500. It hates running with the Steam overlay. It, it does a lot of things. But, there was a magical moment. I think I was on, um... Not the Daytona race, but it would have been the one after. I, I don't know the circuits. Um, and everyone was crashing. All the AI, like nearly every lap, like someone was like spinning out. And sometimes it's not an issue, but a lot of the time, oh, I just had to like come across like a pack of people. I'd slow down, I'd go like, oh my gosh. And I'd just be involved in the kerfuffle. It's like so much. Um, I mean, there's a rewind feature, so I can be a bit lazy like that, but it's like, you know, the, the chaos, the absolute, like, madness of, of driving this oval and things going all over the place. That was the joy that I actually managed to get out of the game. Not necessarily the, you know, the driving, because the driving felt okay, although I, in some races, I felt like I was just naturally slower than the AI, and I couldn't do anything about it. And then in some races I'm like, oh, I'm like a second a lap faster? Why? I thought it was because I haven't researched anything, but... No, it, uh, it... The AI seems to be better or worse depending on just where I am. Speaking of better or worse where I am as well, uh, check it out. They reused, uh, the Fluzzard... Uh, you know, level. Or not the level, they reused Fluzzard and gave him a different level. So good on him. Fluzzard's wild battlefield wide. I love the way that you fly in here as well. Flazid, Flazid! He says you're okay and that you can glide with him. Would you glide with Flazid? Well, I want to read the sign first. It's too bad, so sad. Alright. I don't... I... Wow, yeah. I, I wonder how you... Well, I guess... I guess you tech... Can you skip the first Flazid? I think you're able to. And it's a common metal hint. Fly through five tiny gates. Five tiny gates! Okay. Alright, let's do it. But yeah, no, it actually it actually was fun after after that point. Um other other than that though, I'm still suffering the oval tracks. Um and my interest in the oval tracks, you know, it's not infinite, so we'll see how long I get. At least the F1 games is like, you know, the circuits can be interesting. I think you gotta follow the star bits on this one. Because the Yep, there it is. Oh. Don't fly too low. Oh yeah, they put the... Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, am I gonna be good on that one? I think I am. Ooh. I love how energetic the music is on this one as well. It's great. It's good fun. It's exciting. Also, I guess everything's crumbling around... around you. You know, why not? Things crumbling makes stuff exciting. Even when it doesn't make sense why it's crumbling. I was not looking where I was going, so I assumed there was a cannonball directly underneath me. <laughs> Just go with that. Well, definitely not an amazing time, but I got the Comet Medal and lived. So, I count that as a win in my books. You flew, you flew. Have a this. Yeah. But yeah, no, that, it, was, it was pretty okay, so... I'll play some more NASCAR and we'll see how it goes, but oh boy, the crashing I could do without. I think some of the later games, um, I think uh, Heat 5 is the one that people really, really love. Um, like a really new one as well. Um, so, yeah. 
thought it was interesting. Let's broaden my horizons with a different racing discipline that I've never really, you know, done. So sure. What's another game I played? Uh, I finished Paper Mario. Uh, it was exactly as I thought it would be. It, uh, I, I feel like I got right up to the end of Chapter 7. Um, did I even mention I was playing Paper Mario? I think I did once. But, uh, yeah, I'd gotten up to Chapter 7 when I played it on like the Wii Virtual Console way back when. But I never actually finished it. So I put in the effort. I've actually finished it. Uh, got a little bummed because whoever did the Retro Achievement set uh, didn't mark the missable badge that you can get. And I'm really salty about that one. I also didn't even get the achievement for maxing up my badge points. I thought that was a little weird. Uh, Bowser Jr.'s Boomsday Machine. He's, he's there in a tower. Um, with that being said, Paper Mario is... It's a neat game. And it's an interesting one in terms of an RPG where, uh, you know, you take the same amount of damage the entire way through the game and you... You know, you only deal a little more damage. Oh, rip toad. Um, you only take, you only deal more damage when you get uh, the set, like you know, item upgrades. And even then, they don't particularly make the game like crazy easier. They make some class enemies crazy easier, but um, but generally, like you know, the difficulty of the game just depends on how good you are and how you know strong the enemies are, um, which I think is actually fairly neat and I also appreciate that like it really does revel in its badge system so the badge system uh, you pick up badges for the game and uh, they'll give you like either you know abilities you can use or just like passive perks um, but there's so many badges and so few slots to equip them in that you end up kind of creating your own style almost there you, go. you gotta be a little precise as you go past the these are boomerang bros aren't they yeah I got blue shells, so therefore they must throw different weapons. Get in the boop. Be the kind of guy who, like, gets onto the flagpoles. These flagpoles didn't have a... They didn't have a comet metal on them, did they? Can I see all of them from here? <laughs> One of them did have a, a live stream on it, so... You can get that if you want. Uh, but yeah, so why did I not beat the game? I think the, the chapter 7 boss was probably giving me trouble and I didn't really, like, have a good strat. I feel like as a kid I just was a bit dumb, we'll just say that. Like, I didn't really know my best. I think you can kind of gutsy shoot towards the cloud if you really want to, but you should go proper and aim for the target and don't slightly miss. It's a bit weird that it's not even, like, on angle. If you hit the target, you're all good. This is a really fun looking planet. It reminds me of, um, you ever have like those like kaleidoscope balls? You know the ones where it's just like, you know, all the different bits of it like collapse in into like a tiny thing and then expand it out into big. I should have gotten the cloud. Oh, do I need the cloud? No, I don't. I don't need the cloud. I am amazed that worked. There you go, speedrunning strat. Is this the boss already? Jeez. Okay, cool. So uh, here is Bowser Jr. He's dancing on the spot. He is happy. My dad's gonna get angry if I let you get another cowboy badge. Time to break out my boomsday machine. I'll just relax in my comfy cockpit and watch you go boom. Could he, could he just not say the word and highlight it red? I remember this boss being pretty decent. So he fires uh, 100 balls at you. You expect to get the cloud, mushroom, and then pretty much just long jump at him and give him a ripe old bonk on the head. But then he sucks all the clouds in. And he just he kinda sucks me in, so cool. Okay. Now I'm angry, because I am now a bit taller. So now uh he, he goes full Tarkus on you and uh gains some treads. Oh, oh, oh. That's uh that's a bit of an unfortunate way to bail out of that. I love the spikes on the gears. It's a nice touch. 
You did well, Bowser Jr. You got a nice, artsy thing. I referenced Tarkus. You gotta take that as a compliment. So it's not quite as easy as uh, it once seemed. That's not too bad either. Is that it? That is it. I guess the strategy doesn't change too much. Maybe that's what people complain about with Galaxy 2. The Galaxy 1's the same thing. There's a, lot, there's a lot of bosses that are over really quickly. I think people really like a, a nice and thorough, satisfying boss, and... I feel like Galaxy 1... Well, actually... I'm gonna say all the Mario games, really all the Mario 3D platformers, they've all got a handful of bosses that are just like... They're not crazy satisfying. Um, I'm trying to think, like, what were the bosses in Mario 64 that are not the Bowser fights? I can think of the ones in the DS version, but I'm trying to ignore those ones. I guess they had the Ice Bully? I'm thinking the Ice Bully. It was the Wiggler. Uh, you know, King, King Bobom. That's the fifth cowboy badge. I had a feeling you could do it. Next up is the sixth world, and you know that monster's going to put up an even stronger fight now. So let's get those power stars and save your special one. The big fight awaits. The helm is yours, Captain. And yes, by the way, world six, we are finally at the <coughs> last world. Uh, so, but yeah, the, the ride will not be over at the end of this stream, fortunately. I, I will probably grab another you know, reach 100 stars and, you know, all these games, there's 120, so... I'm curious if I will reach Bowser at the end of this. We'll see. The battle draws near. Do your best, and let's get him this time. So, uh, well, Six starts off by forcing you into the lava galaxy, because why not? I love these guys, the Melty Monsters. Do they have... they're like... They're called Blogs. I think that's their official names. And they're from this game, and I love them. The Magnificent Magnacy. By the way, yeah, we just came out of a lava level, and now we're introduced to a lava level. Maybe they should have put <laughs> that, uh, Freeze Flame or, um, Flash Burn, what was it called? They should have put it a little bit earlier. It's got great music, though, I'll tell you that. That triumphant kind of horn music, and I love that they hid a pipe there. Good thing you can kind of work your way back. That is a cheeky pipe spot. Because the chimp is here. The chimp. Everybody loves the chimp. Look who decided to show up. Step into the house of the chimp. You ready for something new? Just roll over the enemies up ahead. So you game or what? How does the chimp even do this? Like, can I, I can understand the jumping one, the skating one, but, uh, I guess, I guess he reacts to the rock mushroom. No time limit, just, uh, gotta get good at bowling. I'm pretty sure you get to hear this music without a time limit as well. You gotta watch out for these things, because they're gonna, well, sorry. You gotta watch out for these things, because they'll throw you off a little bit, or not. And now you gotta jump with A, so... Okay, here we go. Oh. I'm not quite centered anymore. If I thought I wasn't quite centered, well, this is gonna be... One more on, on that belt. I don't know what's going on with the background when you, like, change camera angles, you know? What it was all about. Oh, there we go. I think they give you a lot of leeway on getting the points on this one, but no bonuses. You gotta, you gotta just get it. There we go. Lots of ones at the end. Well, 5,200. So I got, I got just over it. I don't know how many I miss. I feel like 5,600 just seemed like the. The maximum. Oh, I've got to acknowledge you as my greatest rival, and I've got- I'll give you this power star to prove it. Well, here we go, another power star, under the belt. Uh, but yeah, no, overall I did enjoy Paper Mario. I'd definitely say I'd- I'd give it a recommendation, although I don't know if I'd, like, 
crazy replay it. It does, like, sit at just the right length. Um, it does have some, like, draggier bits. You do move through the chapters pretty quickly, but there's some chapters that are just, like... You know, there's not much going on in them. They just kind of happen. Starship Mario can now advance. Oh, my 88 stars already. I've left a giant, like, black hole in front of you as well. Um, so how many is that? 1800, man. Ooh. Uh, I think... I'm not too sure how the, how the rest of the world is laid out. It kind of does look like I don't think I'll hit Bowser quite at 100 stars, though. But that's okay. So, the Magnificent Magma Sea. Finally. Again? Let's do it. Oh, we got another Luigi. I think Luigi appears on, like, every star after you do it. And it just so happens that going back into anything after a bonus star is like, Oh, look, there's Luigi. Still, take the opportunity. It's a different thing. That is cheeky that you can't see the pipe until right at the end. There's the melty monsters, the blogs themselves. They sit in the background and dive out at ya. Just gotta make sure you don't get killed, I guess. Or fainted, we gotta use the... I also like how, uh... You gotta slingshot yourself off that one. Oh. Out of, out of we go. I love this guy as well, just, just to keep you on your toes. This character is good fun. Oh, 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 oh. I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. We're good. So, uh, we got some wave based gameplay here. Gotta watch out for the waves. Look at that, we even got the little, you know, six notes of the title. And I jumped on the wave. It's gonna really critique my gameplay this stream, I'll tell you that. So. You know, Paper Mario is good fun. Uh, what's another one? Uh, I might be out of order, but I'm gonna mention anyways. I played Rayman 2 again. Uh, maybe I should save my full commentary for when I potentially play it again, because I beat the. I got. Well, I did the whole retro achievement set in seven hours. And I feel like. You know what? I could totally do the whole game in. Four streams. Three streams, maybe, if I really wanted to. Um, but I feel like, and, and that was 100%. That was like, back as a kid, I could not figure out for the life of me how to get all the lumps. And now it's just like, oh, now I just do it easy. Maybe maybe it was one because I was playing the PS2 version. Uh, Rayman 2 Revolution, or Rayman Revolution if you're in Europe because they've got to put the 2 on, which is weird because it's a reimagining of 2. It's not even like trying to not be too. I just, as a kid, I thought it was a different game, but no, it's the same game. Uh, but I just played a Great Escape because it's a condensed version. I'm going to play Revolution again. Um, but it's like, I, I love it. It's it's a game that holds up the more times you play it. Um, like I was commenting on uh, yeah, Mario 64 and Sunshine. Rayman 2 is a game that like, legit, like, opinions of, of, you know, some of these games. It's like, oh, Mario 64, you know, it's a it's a really influential game. It's got a lot of a lot of fat to it. There's a bit of fat to it, sure. Rayman 2 is a game that surprisingly has so little fat. And I don't think it gets anywhere near as much credit as it, like, should. Because I feel like, you know, it, it feels like a PS2 era platform. Like a very, like, you know, by the books PS2 era platform. But it came out in 1999 for the Nintendo 64, and and I know the Dreamcast version is like the, the Steam version, um, and that was the actual that was one I did replay. Uh, but I feel like also well in any case because I then started playing uh, Sonic Adventure for the Dreamcast, and I'm like, man, this game does not hold up. Sonic Adventure One on the Dreamcast, like. One, everyone's opinion of Sonic Adventure I might as well just talk about that at the same time. Everyone's opinion of Sonic Adventure 1 is probably because they played Sonic Adventure DX, the GameCube, or ported to PC and 
the Steam, you know, XBLA re-release version. Everyone's played the Director's Cut version, which trims... Well, it doesn't trim really any of it, but it at least, you know, makes, makes the characters look more decent. Uh, people don't realize that the original Sonic Adventure not only looks very weird, it also runs at like 20 FPS. It's a bit horrendous how, how sluggish it is. Um, it's still a very buggy game, Sonic Adventure. It's, uh, well, the voice acting is all over the place. The music is so loud in the mix. Um, oh, we did not get a blog on the ship, I wish. Another hungry mouth to feed. I hope you know what you're doing. Look at these guys. It's like our latest additions. Want to have a word with you, Captain? Did they indicate where on the ship they were? Like, they're just inside somewhere, I guess. Let's see. Let's see what Who would they be? Yeah, like, is there a pipe somewhere? I just haven't gotten in so long. Cannot for the life of me. Maybe it was this pipe? There were two pipes, there's one under each here. It was that pipe. Cool. Alright. Luma Lee, Luma Bop, spend your hard current hard current. Hard uh, earned by the way, I, I this is your your subtle use of saving your your coins. And then it's just like, yeah, but the one-ups disappear when you turn off the game. It's not the worst thing to to be honest. You get five spins and you could probably pick up a lot of lives and Honestly, if you if you go out grinding, you'll probably get 100 coins pretty easily. Um, and it, so it's good if you if you, there's a really hard challenge. I'm gonna try my best to not need it, but we'll see. But yeah, no. uh, yeah, I'm gonna rip into Sonic Adventure people, but yeah, I'll I'll, I'll just kind of go back and go. Yeah, but Rayman 2 is like, you know, I'm gonna let you finish, but Rayman 2 is one of the greatest games of all time, and. I'm gonna stand by that. I really enjoy Rayman 2. Every single time I replay it, like, I just feel like I've just gone through a wonderful adventure. I think the Chimp Challenge is still there if you missed it the first time, so that's neat. But we got a whole level all about, uh, the boulder. You know, in the, in the lava galaxy we have probably not a lava level. Still, it's a cool backdrop. I wonder how many starbits you get by like flinging yourself all around here. Probably a couple, not a ton. Uh, yeah, um, so yeah, Rayman 2, I love it. And Sonic Adventure, uh, I enjoy Sonic Adventure, but it's, uh, it's not an amazing game. <laughs> Especially the original Dreamcast release is, oh boy, it is, it's, Funky. It feels very unfinished, um, so you can only really appreciate it as like, well, I mean, this is what Sonic in 3D feels like, um, which is just very ah, I went too far. Um, it's very saddening. Um, so yeah, I I only just started playing it again tonight, so I'm not gonna comment on it too much, uh, but. Given that, you know, if you played the the re-release on the GameCube or the Steam or whatever, you have played the Dreamcast version. You're not missing out on anything. Uh, the one thing you do miss out if you play the Steam version is you miss out on the Game Gear uh, bonuses uh, that were in the GameCube version. It's a weird thing that they decided to not include in the Steam version, and I don't know why, but... I don't know why you to buy a game. Well, actually, no, because there's no Game Gear collection on Steam. The only other real re release beyond, like. No, I, I don't know. The Game Gear is completely off limits on Steam, apparently. Who knows? Maybe they'll release it again. Okay, time to just kind of ease the stick. I always get into a bad habit of, like, constantly touching the stick, even though I don't have to. Like, you just have to point Mario in the right way and not do that, where you jump and you think you've gone off and then you, you know, you've ducked too far down one direction. I'll just say I'm getting lots of star bits for the Hungry Luma. Yeah! Uh, 
Another game on the list is uh, Doom for the 32X. I didn't finish it because I actually got a bit aggravated with uh, playing the game. I was trying to play an Ultra Nightmare because I'm like, oh, like I play Doom on Ultra Nightmare all the time. Oh boy, is it so difficult on the 32X version. So, Doom on the 32X, you may recognize because uh, when the Angry Video Game Nerd, good old James Rolfe, when he talked about. There you go. What? What? Oh, this is a tricky, this is a fairly, like, tricky bit, like, it seems, like, straightforward laid out, but oh boy, is it tough to, to deal with. I appreciate they got the block there, I think you break yourself on the block. So if you, if you didn't want to jump for the star, you go for it. Uh, but, yeah, uh, the 32X Doom is, uh, honestly, like, it is a fairly decent version when it comes to, like, running. It seems to run fairly, fairly well. Uh, the resolution is not great, although it covers most of the screen, which is neat, but, like, the actual raw resolution is not great. Like, I can't, I can't see enemies. They, they take up pixels on the screen. You can only really tell things are there because they're kind of moving about most of the time. And they only look at you. They don't walk around, so they always spot you. Um, so that gets a bit aggravating. The thing that really irks me about 32X Doom is it is very hard to control. The Clockwork Ruins Galaxy, I love this galaxy by the way, it's great fun, uh, but it's so hard to control. You've only got your three buttons on the Sega Genesis Mega Drive controller. Um, we got a lot of just spinning platforms, lots of stuff, and I believe you got to pick up the coins. I, I'm remembering off the top of my head, it's like, mm, coins seem important. Well, that coin has gone gone away. Uh, but uh, it's it's a hard one to control because of those three three buttons. Um, so you've got one button, which is your uh, run button. That's A, and then you've got a, a shoot button as B, and then a use button as C. But also, uh, you can uh, hold the use button. And that allows you to strafe, because you'd be, you know, look turning. You'd be uh, hitting left and right, and you'd be turning left and right. Um, so holding down C lets you strafe, but you also, you know, you've also got to now mash B to shoot, and also, while you're at it, you've got to, you know, you're not pressing A to, to run. Also, while I'm at it, oh, did you want to switch weapons? Well, if you press A, oh, sorry, if you hold down A and then you press start, you change your weapon forward one. I have no idea how to change your weapon backwards. Um, maybe I should have been reading the manual, but it meant, oh, I couldn't really change weapons in a fight. I also couldn't really circle strafe because, I, you know, there's enemies. Well, sorry, I, like I, I'm strafing and then I gotta like now turn while not really moving forward. It's, it's a bit awkward. I understand that the controller is a bit limiting, but uh, it didn't support like the you know, six button controllers in any way. It's just like, it exists on its own. It's just there. Um, and generally I feel like, man, they don't give you any more leeway with the enemies because the enemies start kicking your butt. You get into that whole habit of, uh, you know, the sergeant enemies, you know, can shotgun you from a mile away. And then on top of that, they, uh, you know, they, they deal so much damage. They deal so much damage, uh, and it's, it's very hard to, to cope with. Maybe I'm just, you know, I gotta get good. Um, I will say this is mostly an ultra, uh, an ultra violence difficulty, like, problem. It's woefully not there on Hurt Me Plenty, but on ultra, ultra violence, I don't know, it, it just feels so imbalanced. Um, especially as well, if you lose, and I love this about Doom, if you lose a level, you just restart the level on a pistol. There's no lives, there's no nothing. You just restart the level. There's Angry Luma. Um, it could be 40. There's enough of these, uh, Octolings. 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 I could get 40 right now. So, let's do it. But I'm pretty sure, I want to say it was 30. And if it was 50, I'm going to cry, but... There we go, so hop down. Oh, don't, don't hop down quite there. Okay, that's 30. Wanna eat the coins? <laughs> Imagine eating currency. This meme was brought to you by the bourgeoisie. 
Bada 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 bum. Wow, a new planet was born. And away we go. Does this planet look familiar? It's not, but it looks a little familiar. We get to reuse a fun mechanic. The time stop. Again, I don't know if you particularly need it. I think it helps a bit, but... Oh, like you, you, gotta, you gotta dodge that first hammer by yourself. So... Uh, but yeah. Uh, I guess the other thing you might remember of uh, Doom 32X, if you have played it, is that it lacks uh, a lot of the levels. It only has 17 levels. It's pretty much got the entirety of Episode 1, and then most of Episode 2, and then it just... I think it throws in one level in Episode 3. And then it just ends with the secret level of Episode 2, like the really small one. Well, maybe it's the Episode 3 one, but like the really small one that's just like... Uh, an octagon shape. It just ends with that as a regular level, and it's like, hey, you did it. Um, and because of that, it lacks the Cyber Demon and the Spider Mastermind. Uh, and also, they don't put the BFG in the game. I know it's there with a cheat code, but it's not in the game. It's not there. So, um, so it's a it's a rather curious game. It's it's limiting, but as console ports go, it does okay. It's just oh. That control, it, it, it's aggravating. Um, if you've ever played the SNES Doom, the SNES Doom has so much stuff on it, the only downside is it runs like trash, and it looks like trash at the process, and even though it's trying to leverage that Super FX chip, uh, that's in the cartridge, or not the console itself, by the way, that's a fun thing where people will say, oh, the SNES can do this, and it's like, oh, the SNES cartridge does that. It's, I, it, it was an interesting era when, when, um, you know, consoles could be extended by just additional hardware being, like, thrown into the, slip, the system like that. Like, it's just slapped in. Um, well, it's not slapped in, because the, the console itself, like, knew it would have to accept that. Um, it's like how uh, the NES, for example. Uh, most NES games uh, use a, uh, a memory mapper, because it refers to more memory than the NES can natively handle without needing an extra memory controller in the cartridge. Uh, Super Mario Brothers hits that limit so hard, it rides it so hard, and that's why if you've ever downloaded a ROM, it's 40 kilobytes, or 41 kilobytes, because there's a little bit of an extra header on it. Um, that's because that's the limit, that's, that's all the NES cartridge is able to store on it, um, you know, if you don't, you know, add instructions to map. So, that's why the NES is filled with mappers, so there's lots of... Different mappers, different people made their own mappers, and the SMUAs have to basically support every single one of them. It's good fun. Um, most of them are pretty, pretty uh, by the books, though, and a lot of documented. Well, there's a lot of documentation on NES hardware, so that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Um, anyway, what was I talking about? Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, I'll, I'll say more about that later. I'm not playing that again. I'm not playing the Sonic Adventure game uh, again on that channel, though. I played DX. I thought it was alright. Uh, if I was more positive at the time, uh, I'm going to be more skating now. Look at that, there's a little Luma. Little blocks come out at you. Whoa. Uh, watch out for the blocks. Watch for rolling blocks, as they say in the industry. But now you've got to watch for the blocks to come out. Ooh. I haven't picked up the... Comet metal, have I? Oh. oh, I'm gonna do this without using the aid of the platform. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna need the platform for that one. You could probably jump off the wall if you really want to. Oh. Okay, I'm up, I'm up. I think this part's neat, where it's like, oh, you see the block click on its side, as well as the button on its side. You hit this, and you're like, oh. And it all crumbles away, and suddenly, now you've got to walk on the part of the wall that maintained itself. It's pretty neat. I like it. You get another point in my books. You can also be the kind of guy who walks around the hallway, but you don't have to. But it's also like, you know, some of this platform is still working as well. 
you can just jump up to the board if you want. Hit the button and free goes to Luma. Molly in that cage. Ooh. Oh, yeah, oh, I guess there's no sunlight on him. Is it? Ah, that's a common metal. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, one last game on the list that I thought was interesting. Uh, I played Tron 2.0. Uh, that is a first person shooter uh, published by Disney. Officially, it's not even, you know, a mod or anything. Uh, made by Monolith. Not the Monolith that made Xenoblade, but the Monolith that eventually, well, later made Fear. And, uh, you know, Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor. Uh, and earlier had made uh, No One Lives Forever and uh, Blood. Blood is a very different... Oh, oh. oh cool. Okay. <laughs> That's a very iffy going metal we get. You see it there. But getting it is a, a whole nother matter. You don't have to duck, fortunately, in any of this, so that's neat. Okay, free, we're on the other side. And yes, I know that we're using the Egypt lobby music. Those are the strangest, like, platforms, I swear. Little poles. I wonder what it's like up here. Oh, the rest of the level. Okay, well, down I go. Oh, my homies love the rotating bit. This bit's cool. I like it. It's good fun. Uh, but yeah, no. So, uh, maybe that's a bonus. Uh, but yeah, no. The Tron 2.0. It's it was remarkably pretty good. It definitely, like, doesn't outsay its welcome. It's like, as long as it goes, is pretty much as long as I, you know, feel like it should have gone for. So it was about eight hours. Um, but it was... Ah, oh, done. It was about, yeah, eight hours of pretty good fun shooting where you jump between, you know, kind of environments each, uh, 40 minutes, 40, 50 minutes. Uh... The main, I missed three, I know, I know, uh, but the main thing with, um, uh, Tron 2.0 that I really, really liked is, uh, one, the weapons, uh, the weapons, you basically had, uh, you were introduced to your disc, and you throw the disc, but you could also melee with the disc, but you could also, um, and I love this as well, oh, hold on, let's ride it, let's ride it all the way, um, there you go. Jump left. Up, up. There you go. Got the star. Easy money. Um, but yeah, you, you'd have your disc and yeah, you can block with it or throw it. You know, there's a bit of depth to the weapon. Um, you also got like little stun prods. I did not use them beyond the stealth section at the beginning of the game. Sure. Uh, you got a couple of other weapons as you go throughout the game, but what the game really like, you know, takes in stride is its equipment system. You basically, every single chapter, uh, you're presented with the ring of, you know, slots that you can equip things into. And, uh, ooh, head over to Honey Hop Galaxy if you think you've got what it takes. Um, and you can equip, uh, pretty much what they call them, procedures in the game. The Chimp. Uh, and some of the procedures are just like, oh, you take a little bit less damage. Um, getting infected, uh, by the, by the, like, you know, computer virus corruption uh, is less likely than some of that. But quite a number of them are their own new weapons. And also quite a number of them are... Uh, yeah, so you get, like, all these really neat weapons. I, I use the um, one that's called the LOL, the LOL, for probably stands for something, but uh, it was a nice, fun sniper rifle. And I'd use it like a railgun all the time. Um, and, uh, and, yeah, it was really good fun, like, being able to go, ah, like... You know, I might have been playing this game in a way that no one else really would be. Um, and yeah, you, you then upgrade these abilities, they have, you know, better, you know, more damage, or they use less of your energy, uh, they take up less space in your wheel as well, so you're not, like, having to juggle between, oh, like, you know, I can't equip armor, 
I, because I want to use the, the sniper rifle. It's like, oh, there's a lot of, like, you know, a fair bit of depth to it. I gotta get 10,000 points. Is this the third time we've seen the chimp this stream? Alright, here we go. I don't think the time limit's too much of a concern. It's uh, getting hit while you're going through your jumps. That's the concern, apparently. And also comboing your stuff. If you can't combo, then just make sure you get the coins. I think there's a lot of love to getting the coins on this one. Alright, so that's 30 seconds down. Losing all my time. Oh, there's more down here. Let's see if I can track my shadow. Uh, yeah, I'll see if that one's dying out. Alright, I know you can wall jump up here. I feel like I, uh, not really efficiently used my time. That's okay, because there's more enemies over here, so... Oh, I'm really not efficiently using my time, am I? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, okay. Please just have lots of enemies up here. Oh boy, this is, this is rough. Remember when I said, ah, oh, the time is not a concern? Now I've got 20 seconds to prove it. I beat him! I beat him! <laughs> that was... That was a bit filled. That was a bit filled. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna find some new games so I can show you frustration more. Oh, that was filth. That was filth. That shouldn't have worked. That shouldn't have worked. <laughs> oh, no. I feel so bad now. I feel like I shouldn't have won that. There were all these enemies at the top. I could have just rushed to the top. Ah, well, the chimp did not set out. You know, he didn't. He didn't swing it in his favor very well. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Back to Tron. Oh, is there another comment? Oh, there's a comment here. Um. Yeah, it's a. Uh, yeah, it, the variety was really, really nice. Um, I guess the only downside I feel is that the disc was so ubiquitous. There's a there's a um an energy system. Oh, we got two comments going on. Oh boy, uh, the energy system uh, kind of demanded that you save your energy to uh, you know to pick up emails, uh, key permissions, which are just the per level keys, and inevitably to um, unlock more of the abilities that you find because you need to basically pay energy to do them. There's a lot of like, oh, there's freebie energies in, um, in the levels, so it's not too bad, but, uh, because your weapons also use the same energy, uh, I ended up kind of relying on the disc a lot. That being said, I thought, hey, it's, it's not too bad. And, and by the end of the game, I actually really liked the, uh, you know, how liberating it was. Yes. You have to go through the whole level without taking a hit. Ah. Don't worry, it's broken! <laughs> This is going to be the most fun part, having to do the bullet bill part without taking a hit. How many Daredevil runs are in this game? It seems like a four or... or... No, okay. I was like, no, come back, bullet bill. Lost my depth on that one, so... Uh, I don't remember this giant block being here earlier. Bonk. Alright, taking on the Boomerang Bros. Gotta watch out for the Boomerangs because they come back. But yeah, no, it was, it was really good. So I'd recommend it for the $3.62 that the game goes on Steam. Tron 2.0. It might be a one that I might play on stream. Maybe. Uh, 
I'll, I'll, I'll leave a big maybe on that one. Just just because. Uh, it's curious. Oh, they changed the. They changed this bit. Also, um. Okay. It's about the same in the middle there, so I was like, I know, I know I'm safe if I aim for this part. That's kind of interesting that they changed the, the planet. Completely different planet. What? Who, who put a completely different planet here in the, in the Daredevil Comet Medal? Now you gotta wing this bit. Look at this. This is why Galaxy 2 is a complete enigma. People have no idea that this, like, you know, part of the level exists. It just kind of happens. Ah uh, yes, I could get a one-up or more clouds. Or I could just go to the end. I'm really worried I was about to do a jump and then ground pound and not a long jump. Alright, so doing this boss, but this time not taking a hit. He didn't seem too bad, but he seemed one bad, so... Is he gonna men- he's gonna mention- he's gonna say the C word again, isn't he? My dad's gonna get angry if I let you get another cowboy. Yeah, there's the word. There's the word. He said... He said that- I, I forgot to say cowboy star as well. Whoops. Okay, time to- oh. Alright, let's get some more clouds. Let's make the jump. And there we go. But yeah, no. I feel like I played a lot of games this week. But, oh. He shot my cloud very quickly. So. Alright, here we go. Up we go. Let's see if I can get him up easy. Maybe I got hit because I was going. Oh, no. He keeps doing it. Down I go. <laughs> now I'm angry. Alright, here comes Tarkus yet again. It has been like probably a decade since not not a decade since I last listened to Tarkus. I always keep riffing that I don't like the LP, but Tarkus is an album I uh, I'm okay with for the first half. What? What? Oh, I'm out of class. Oh, okay, cool. I'm glad that worked out. I'm glad that worked out. Cool. Uh, but yeah. No, it, it, if anyone looks that up, uh, the first half of Tarkus, the, the side long, it's, it's good. It's good. The second half, I could do without Are You Ready Eddie? I could do without a lot of that. It's so just painfully average, the second half. It's just, it, it, the creativity is just really oddly not there. Um, I felt very similarly with Brain Salad Surgery. I was not the biggest fan of that album. Um, and uh, it's been way too long since I listened to pictures of an exhibition, so who knows. But yeah, onwards and upwards, there's... Is, is the comet that this, this galaxy is still here? It is still here, cool. So what is this comet? Well, hopefully it's not a Cosmic Mario comet, because that'd be kind of annoying. Oh, wait! I just remembered! It's the purple coins! The adventure of the purple coins, nonetheless. So, yeah. So I mentioned Sonic Adventure earlier, and I kind of wanted to bring up this uh, idea of uh, fanboyism. Um, and this is not a riff on anyone in particular, but it's definitely like a, a weird thing that I feel has existed... Uh, five minutes? This is probably the longest purple coin mission in any of these games. And they require you to screw near the Sonic games especially. Sonic is like a bizarre one. I don't think Mario games are immune to it, but, like, Sonic is the strangest, like, cult. Where it's just, like, cult is a strong you, you know what I mean? It's like, people are like, they want to invent their own original characters, and they, like... But, like, to be honest, the Sonic universe, there's not a lot of, like, depth or continuity to any of it. It's, it's kind of like Sonic is on his 
at least from what I've what I've played, and I've played a lot of the Sonic games. Sonic is on a crazy adventure. Eggman is often the villain, not always, but often. He wasn't the villain in Sonic and the Secret Rings. It was uh, Genie Man, and he wasn't the villain in Sonic and the Black Knight. I don't think anyone even finished that game, and I can't remember a thing about it. So, I'll go with that. Um, but yeah, like Sonic is a weird one where like people defend the heck out of it, and I'm just like a lot of Sonic games are also. Absolute godsend. Whoever at Nintendo added that guy who said got 37 there, mwah, mwah, I could kiss it for years. It's beautiful. Um, but yeah, like, so many Sonic games are very average. There's, there's some good ones, a lot of average ones. Um, and uh, I feel like a lot of Sonic games know the, hi like, the hierarchy of which games are good and which games aren't, but like, they're very willing to put up with the, the bad ones. I, I was mentioning Sonic Adventure earlier, and I'm like, yeah, Sonic Adventure is not a particularly great game. Some people will say that it's like, oh, Sonic Adventure 2 has the story, Sonic Adventure 1 has the gameplay. I'm like, no. Sonic Adventure 1 is, like, very rough 3D platform, and Sonic Adventure 2 at least trimmed a lot of the rough parts, but neither of which have a particularly, um, like, Amazing story? The story is a means to an end in the Sonic games. It's like, why is Sonic, you know, on a spaceship now? Why is Sonic in a desert? Why is, it, you know... It, that's the whole point of your story. You don't have to, like, you know, claim the story as high art. You know, there's a lot of, like, action films that are just, like, they invent some pieces. I'm not having a fun time getting those through a couple points, apparently. Um, and that's fine. It's just that, yeah, like... They're also not, like, amazing stories. Um, that's okay. I, I feel like I'm riffing on it maybe a bit too much. Um, but the idea of, like, the games not being as, like, you know, a lot of people are positive about, you know, some of those Sonic games. And I'll, I'll say the same thing about Mario games. Some people defend Mario Sunshine so much. I'm just like, I don't know, man. I, I don't quite see it. Uh, so now I get this, and now he should say, Godsend. They added a second one. Now I've got 100 seconds to basically get uh, onto the platform. So this, uh, this is going a bit swimmingly, so... I think it's extended a lot of ads to the game. Yeah, maybe this is that. Like, the, there's comics. There's like the Archie comics of Sonic. I know there's that. Um, but like, I, f I feel like um, the fanboyism like, can be played it, it, true, it is very easy to OC for. I think I think it makes it easy to OC when every game technically adds its own OC. Like there's a lot of, there's a lot of Sonic characters. Like uh, we'll add Big the Cat, and it's just like Big the Cat only exists because Sega had like you know they wanted to test out a fishing mini game, and then they kind of designed it a bit too hard into the the main gameplay. Um, but like that, like that was probably the thing with Sonic Adventure. They just had a lot of different gameplay ideas, and they thought the best way to introduce it would be to have a different character do every one of the gameplay things. The SX, two of the characters really help. Definitely, I th I think like you know, name the animal is just like you know, it, it, it's ubiquitous. It's very easy to to insert onto. Um, and on top of that, like the Sonic characters are uh, like. They're not deep, but they're also, like, well represented in their character designs. Except for, I guess, nothing really screams out that Tails is, like, a mechanic, like, right away. I don't know, that, that doesn't scream out to me. He's always been a mechanic, he's had the plane, like, the, the entire time, but... But, you know, having, having two Tails, I'm like, oh, what does he do with Tails? He flies around with him. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, to the next galaxy. Oh boy. Uh, t Tails, like, Tails has had a plane since Sonic 3, because you fly the plane at the beginning. I don't know if in Sonic 2 he flies the plane, I'm not too sure. In Sonic Adventure, he's fixing and upgrading and tinkering his plane all the time, and generally in a lot of the newer Sonic games, he's like the Brainiac guy who's always coming up with the plans and he's using the high gadget techs. Um, and then the show he does as well, yeah. I don't know really, like, anything that 
makes him seem smart, like, in terms of his character design. I think they gave him, like, um, maybe in Sonic Boom, the show, they gave him, uh, like, a more mechanic outfit, I think. I will say, I appreciate turning Knuckles into a Knucklehead. I, I appreciate that. That's a good, that's a good play. Knuckles doesn't have to be smart. He just has to be, you know, the kind heart. That's it. Throwback Galaxy, Return of the Womp King. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, true. Like, you know, don't give him glasses and a notepad all the time. I guess is that. That's a bit of a trope. But... But it's definitely one where, like, he's, he's just smart because he is. This galaxy, by the way, like, I think people people rip on this game for a lot of reasons. People rip on this galaxy, and I have no idea why. Yeah. So, Throwback Galaxy is such a meme. You got this music, it comes up. You got a bob here, a red bob nonetheless. <laughs> now they treat him like his... Yeah, true. Hey, you, guy with the stash, you came along just in time. Would you do me a favor and get that star back from the Womp King at the top of the cell? Thanks for the follow, uh, AES me. Uh, may your encryption go well. Unfortunately, there is no owl in the, the tree. But you can use the tree to boost your way back up. Um, uh, it's also not the Mario 64 DS layout, so the, this platform just kind of ends here. Uh, the problem is that Knuckles likes to believe in people and trust them. True, yeah. And that's at the beginning of Sonic Adventure. He's like, oh, Eggman is like, uh... What was it? Eggman, like, tells him, like, he's got a certain plan. And so he believes he's gonna collect the Chaos Emeralds from Knuckles. Oh, sorry, sorry, from Sonic. And then Sonic is just like, nah, -uh, because Sonic knows Eggman's trying to get him or something. And then he's just like, oh, whoops. It's a bit of a weird one. Uh... But yeah, no, this galaxy is, uh, it's a recreation of the Womp's Fortress level from Mario 64. Uh, warts and all, uh, in terms of how, kind of, open the level design works, but I, I love it. It's, it's good fun. And it, it kind of shows, like, how timeless some of the layout in Mario 64 is. Like, it's a little bit modified in, in some bits. I think the scale is a little bit different, and obviously it doesn't control the same. Although I am playing as Luigi, so it's probably a bit slipperier than it should be. Um, but, like, they've even got the Womps here. You can't have Womps Fortress without the Womps. These are Thwomps, I know. <laughs> but it, do it does indeed have Womps. Um, pretty sure the Comet Metal is uh, up here. You could be the kind of cheeky... No, it's not the Comet Metal. Whoops. Yeah, like, you know, there's no need to go down here, but you can. They modeled it all out. It's all down here. Oh. They got the music, they got everything. They've even put the, the cannon still in the level. That's the, well, it's not a cannon. <laughs> But it's good fun that, like, you know, this whole kind of level exists. Um, what's the bomb? It's like, huh? Also, I guess talking to the bombs. You look sort of familiar, Stashman. How are you doing? We're all pretty star landed here recently, but the big bully at the top of this hill took it. Oh. But they didn't go with the Mario 64 music here, which is slightly missed opportunity. Also, I think they cheaped out on the, um, on the bridges above, but we'll double-check that. Uh, yeah, no, uh, so, uh, yeah, they turned, um, Knuckles into a bit of a dumb guy, but, uh, yeah, to circle back on the, on the, uh, I guess the, the crazy fanboys and... I appreciate there's a little screw in the middle. I don't know, it just kind of looks a bit neat. Still got the Wiggler, it's all good. I didn't pick up the Comet Metal, did I? It was down below. It's probably a little easier, given that you can do the spin. You can probably get back up by doing the spin as well. Can't believe there's no star here. Not even realistic. And I'm going down. Okay, time to work my way back up. Oops, time to work my way back up. Oh, time to... 
time to work my way back up. But yeah, like there's a lot of there's a lot of games out there that get like people who are diehard loving it. Um, I feel like some of it is a nostalgic thing, like oh I enjoyed it as a kid, um, kind of kind of thing. Uh, I am not having a fun time getting my way back up here. Two more goes, and if I can't get it, I'm just going up the normal way. I keep kind of knocking things, or coming at the I'm coming at the platform from a weird angle. Alright, one more go. Alright. It's because it juts out a little further than the, the platform does. Oh, okay. So, like, I need to just, like, have that as an angle. Oh, we'll go the normal way. Uh, yeah, I... I never know, like, really what triggers the fanboys, and maybe it's because Sonic was very popular, especially in the early 2000s, uh, somehow. Like, I don't know, his popularity, like, got really crazy peaked, and then, uh... I don't know where the interest really went to, all the kids started being very Call of Duty... craze. And Call of Duty's got that fanboyism as well, um, but I will reserve judgement just because I've never played a Call of Duty game. Someone's gonna rip me into that one. Um... All I'll say is, I didn't enjoy Battlefield 3? It's not Call of Duty, but... It's along the lines. Uh, so we get up to the top here, and who, who's who's here? None other than a big, big one. Let's get him. Oh, that was hard. Oh, you thought it was just gonna be that. But nah, fall through the center of the, gap, the planet, and somehow put on the other side. And here he is, the king. It makes me so mad. We build your houses, your castles, we pave your roads, and you still walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? No, well you're going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Do you have a problem with that? Just try to ground pound the Womp King, huh? So I appreciate that, uh... Oh. I appreciate that they've, uh, brought back the Womp King. It's good fun. Now he's angry. He's got little, little Womplings. Like, what is this? And he does his ground pound attack as well. But it's, it's remarkably well telegraphed. I love how it flashes the ground red, though. <laughs> his line, oh, dude, he's so right. Like, I mean, granted, you know, you walk over him all the time. He destroys all his little children. Oh, he's going to dangle right off the edge. Oh. I, <laughs> I'm too far out. I've ruined it. I mean, think about it. You know. What's, like, what's another... What's another, like, uh, villain who's just, like... You know... His kind get kind of abused because he's just, like... The personification of something normal. Literally, the ground here is stone. So that's on him. That's on him. I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel, uh, grovel. Okay, you win. Here, take this with you. Uh. Dang it. <laughs> like, it's still, yeah, it's still a womp. There's nothing that you can really change too much with a womp, but it's good fun. So, what a fun galaxy. It's just here. People rip into it because it's just like, oh, they're showing that Mario Galaxy 2 has no good ideas. They have to just take whole level out of uh, the Goomba. Yeah, I guess the Goomba is its own. What is the Goomba? He's like a mushroom though, is he? Does he relate to mushrooms? Are they angry that Mario consumes mushrooms to gain strength? Are they bad mushrooms? Chestnut? But then they did like chestnut Goombas in like New Super Mario Brothers U, I think. And then they also looked kind of different in Super Mario World. Toads are a mushroom. Oh gosh, yeah. Wait, so Mario eats mushrooms, so what does that make toads then? I'm very confused. This timeline is very odd. That's the problem with making like anthropomorphic anythings, really. You know, it's like... 
There's, a, there's you know, there's, there's someone who, who is, doesn't line up there. It's like, um, uh, with a Disney. And you got, like, Goofy and you got Pluto. And they're both dogs, but Goofy's the one who goes to work and earns a paycheck, and Pluto is a dog. That's a, that's a weird, like, dichotomy that they've just kept. I think also, what was it, like, Yoshi is technically Mario and Luigi's parents? Yoshi is the parent. I thought, I thought Mario and Luigi had parents, because on the end of uh, Yoshi's Island, they get delivered by the store. Is raised by Yoshi's. Oh boy, I, I love how we're like, ah, the, you know, like, the canon in Sonic games is so weird, and now we're just like, you know, it, it was Mario and Luigi raised by Yoshi's. I'm curious. I'm really curious on this one. I will say that, like, you know, it's it's weird that there's no other humanoid kind of characters beyond um, uh, you know, Mario and Luigi, and then Peach, and then we'll chuck in Daisy, and we'll chuck in Pauline because Pauline was technically there uh, first. And then, uh, oh, this, this. This, I could do without this, like, you know, bit of terrifying slope here. It's a real terrifying slope, but you, get, oh, psh, you gotta work your way around it to get this one silver size just dangling back there. I wanna know, maybe these silver size are in the same places that they were in, uh, Mario 64 DS, because there was a silver star level, wasn't there? Fortunately, I'm gonna lose my cloud, because it's wet. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, like, weird, weird cannons with, the uh, I guess, like, any stuff. I guess the only, the only thing, I, I was ripping on, like, uh, the general idea of fanboys, but honestly, like, yeah, you can still like everything, it's just, you know, <laughs> as long as you allow some critical, you know, interpretation of the things you enjoy. And it's all good. Multiple generations of Donkey Kong. There is mul Donkey Kong is fairly, fairly consistent in how how it works. So I will say there's that. Um, oh yeah, I, I don't know why I blanked out off the top of my head. I guess all of New Donk City now exists in Mario Universe. So there's a whole city worth of human characters. What Mario did it? I mean Mario beat up. You know, the Kongs a lot. I don't know if, uh... Might they take, uh, Pauline, though? Like, it's a, it's a King Kong kind of reference, I understand that, but... I like the Bowser flag, that is reused straight out of, uh... First game, isn't it? All the Silver Stars, and hopefully... They accumulate right here. Oh, <laughs> not quite. I'm going to ground pound into it. Oh, missed it. Yeah, there's a... There's a lot of weird stuff. I think I mentioned Rayman earlier, and I don't think Rayman has any, like, continuity. There's, like, you know, similar characters between games, like, yeah, I guess Murphy appears in a couple of games, and... You know, there's a fairy glade and a fairy council, so I guess it's that, but... You know, you go to different locations, so I guess it's that. I don't know why I'm bringing up Rayman, but... I, don't know. I played Rayman 2, I enjoyed Rayman. Where's my Rayman 2, like, diehards? Where's the people who, like, defended, you know... All the time? I'm not defending the Sanctuary of Stone and Fire, that level can... can get out of... get the heck out of here, but... Yeah. What is something that I would fanboy over? Womp, Silver Stars Peak. Oh, you gotta do the Silver Stars fast now. Oh boy. Um. Yeah, I'm curious what that fanboy over. Probably fanboy over. Uh. Probably fanboyed over, like, RTX. Music? Yeah, I was thinking music, but, like, I've never, like, been a crazy, like, fan of everything abandoned. I think I did. I used to back in the day, maybe like as a as a teenager, I would kind of be much more accepting of um, Metallica. 
Whereas nowadays I'm like, I'm a bit jaded and I'm also just like, I mean, like Ride the Lightning's a great album. Mother of Puppets is a great album. The two surrounding it are pretty alright. Like they're they're alright, they're not as good, they're not in the same way, sure. Um, I take it back, uh, Ride the Lightning is like, you know, a crazy good album. It's like, it is the standard that we should hold all, all, uh, contemporary thrash metal to. It's not even that contemporary, it was kind of one of the earlier ones. Um, but like, I mean, I'm a big fan of King Crimson, and I'm not a big fan of, uh, you know, their album The uh, Construction of Light, or Beat, or Islands. People are gonna rip into me because I don't like Islands. Um, uh, oh, there's a star. Uh, I didn't pick up that one. Okay, okay. Right. Uh, never just mean they aren't dead yet. True, true. I, I was gonna mention yes, and uh, unfortunately there are... Uh, drama of, uh, how long? I think he joined in 72, so like 50 years, uh, passed away. Same day as, um, Ray Liotta, uh, earlier this week. Um, so, rest in peace there. Uh, I'm at least glad the time stopped, but, uh, back into the water I go. But, uh, I mean, Yes is, uh, <laughs> Yes has been a fairly dead band for a while. Uh, that being said, uh, their 1997 album, Open Your Eyes, is hot garbage. There's some albums that I go, eh, they're, they're pretty, they're just average, they're nothing special. Open Your Eyes is legit a bad album. I, I don't like it, it's not, it's not good. And there's a lot of average yes as well, there's a, there's a bit of that. Um, I don't think Big Generator is particularly great. Uh, I think there's a handful of songs off, uh, off, um, I was gonna say Relayer, and there's only three songs on that album, but uh, there's a bit of that where it's like there's, there's some albums that are just like not particularly great. Um, but I absolutely love when they're at their best. Like Close to the Edge is, you know, that's the album that changed changed my life. I'll just say that. Um, so yeah, I I don't know. I find it hard to fanboy over um, music because I feel like there's not a lot of like musicians that can't do wrong. Um, and a lot of the ones that don't do that bad, I'm a big fan of, uh, what is it, Stephen Wilson, he's great. But, like, I also find that, you know, sometimes their peaks never reach the same peaks as a band that does have a more mixed repertoire. Um, let's end with, uh, this galaxy, Battle Belt Galaxy. This is the one, there are, actually, there's two galaxies that people hate. And I think, <laughs> I think Battle Belt is probably one. Uh, Mini Planet Mega Run. So Battle Belt Galaxy is, uh, simply, uh, enemy spam the galaxy. They put enemies in, in a level and said you gotta beat all of them to continue. Yes. But it's got this music, so you can't diss it too hard. Starts off, starts off very difficult. Ugh. So. Whoa! You made it all the way here. You know the only way through is to defeat every enemy, right? Yep, alright. It's fairly straightforward, but, uh... Might be a little unremarkable <laughs> given how some of the other levels work. And this just came right after, uh... They just took a Mario 64 level. I think it was at this point that some people started going, Oh, they're out of ideas, so... Fair enough. Um... Yeah, I guess like game companies sometimes get that. Like I, I used to be pretty big on like some game companies as well. Um, oh, I, I mentioned Metallica earlier, so so nowadays I'm like, you know, Saint Anger is a very average album, and uh, I will probably never listen to Load and Reload again. And the Black album, I don't know, it doesn't screw out to me. I think it's fine. It's good. It's good. It's good. The Black album's good, but I have too many fireballs. <laughs> Inevitably got them. Um, but yeah, like, I feel like some game companies really, like, get that repertoire. I mentioned, uh, Monolith earlier, and I, I know Monolith, uh, sometimes get a little bit of that. But they also made Blood 2, so... Blood 2 is, like, a fairly alright game, but it's got so many, like, jank parts to it. And it's very unbalanced, but, sure. Um... 
Also, did they make Fear 2? Is that them? I didn't like Fear 2. Alright, to the next galaxy. It's a pumpkin with an old pumpkin. Pumpkin gumba. Pumpkin. It's a, that's a mouthful to say. Oh, I stood on the one fireball he puts out. Hate it. Uh, but I know like some people are just like fanboy the consoles especially. How about let's go with that? Like obviously the you know ah oh, my the PlayStation's better because it's got Gran Turismo. And stuff. But, yeah, but you know there's other reasons people can like other consoles as well. <laughs> um, perhaps Nintendo gets the most out of it because they have the most uh, child-friendly uh, demeanor to it. I love taking out the booze inside this pumpkin as well. It's nice. You just scan him, you just go. Um, you know what I mean? Like, there's, there's, I guess, like, an error, or, oh, not an error, but, like, there's a, I think the PS3 would be an interesting one in terms of hardware. The PS3 is, well, well the PS3 is, uh, to some extent, what, like, the, uh, I was going to say, like, the Atari Jaguar, but, I don't know, that one's a bit short-lived. Um, but, like, that, like, that kind of error is that's like an interesting- Oh, should I have been picking up coins? Don't say 20. He said 20. Oh. Maybe you can find 20. Please have two more dudes. Oh my gosh, I actually can do this. It's so late into the- into the level as well, isn't it? This hungry loomer asking for the 20 coins. Oh, let's do it. There you go. So hungry! Give me 20 coins! Here's your money! Keep the change! Uh, yeah, the, the PS3 is a weird one. Definitely a weird one. It's also, I guess, one of those, like, people would rather design for the, the more comfortable technology, I guess. Like, I feel like, oh, well, if the 360 does pretty good right, why push too hard for what the PS3 is? Uh, did you expect that there'd be a lava, uh, gobble gut here? There's just a lava gobble gut here. You know, just cash. Why not? Now, this is gonna be a little bit annoying because, uh... Pretty much it's the same fight, but you can't touch him anywhere, as opposed to just his mouth. Whoop, I missed one. Whoop, I am now on fire. That's what I think we're about the same way. Galaxy 2 moment, uh, Game Engine sort of abstract that away, right? Yeah, Game Engine's definitely, um, definitely, uh, help out with, um, you know, making a game run on all the platforms. I also forgot to just say, uh, now I'm angry. You gotta say, every single time a boss gets angry, one where Unreal 6 will bring. I, I mean, I, I hope people start using Unreal 5 for stuff, because that, that looks pretty neat. Although, I don't actually know what's, like, too different about Unreal 5. Oh, I went a bit too soon into that. Um, and yes, this is a, this is a Galaxy 2, oh, I am not looking where I'm going. Uh, this is a Galaxy 2 moment of, uh, we're kind of reusing a boss, but it's slightly different. I mean, granted, Galaxy 1 literally reused, I am on the dragon! I'm on the dragon. Um, Galaxy 1 did reuse bosses and set them on fire. I wonder Sunshine did that, didn't it? it reused the same, like... Like, a uh, looper boss, like, five times. Okay, okay, we're good. Alright, one more bump somewhere in there. That was, uh, not wise of me to go for the coin, but... He's a busy boy. Take two, take two. Uh, I hope, I hope Unreal Six really like goes ham with the the ray tracing. I'm, I'm I, I'm gonna fanboy ray tracing. I'm just gonna do it. I'm, I feel like it is the future. I don't know if it's the now, but I'm def I'm definitely gonna go, man. You know, like. Game should really, you know, chuck in some real mirrors. Just keep doing it. Do it, do it in tasteful place. Uh, the planet is also a bit smaller originally. Yeah, maybe that's what's causing me to be a bit, um... Uh... I guess, uh, careless, I'll say. 
Look at all the saw that's I chuck them around. I don't remember the, the meteors hitting the planet either. It just kind of happened. Oh, I've timed that so horrendously. I got one, so figure out what we got beyond ray tracing. Um, but we'd have to, we do like radiosity um, kind of mapping, which is, you know, an extension of like just straight ray tracing. But it's a. Uh, oh! I'm gonna say it's the meteors. Yeah, the meteors. Gosh, there's not much ground to really rely on, is there? It's just like it's large bits of just media. Every, and it keeps hitting you so soon. Ah, oh, it touched its butt. Oh, that was five hits down as well. Yeah, I, like, I, I definitely say, like, like, radiosity-style lighting, and especially if you're able to do that in real time, it's like, oh, that'd be great. Um, but yeah, like, currently, like, you know, we, we, we live in a realm of crafted lighting. All these games, you know, like, the shadows working on this planet, it's like, they're not realistic. Mario is obviously just lighting directly under him, and I think everything is directly, like, sorry, casting a shadow directly under them. Um, that, of course, is a gameplay thing. I wonder if uh, Dolphin's the one flipping out there on the shadow. Probably is. Um, it's obviously there for a gameplay uh, design choice of having the shadow directly under the player. It just makes it easier to know where they are in uh, 3D space. But I also wonder if, like, you know, that'll be a thing that, like, some games uh, will tend to do will be to. Um... Sorry, oh, what, did I, what did I just say? I, there's a lot of games that just like, yeah, they've got to design their lighting. They've got to really like figure out, like, you know, oh, how bright is this room? How dark is that room? And I guess the sentiment is still going to be there, but um, they're going to do it in the, in the same way that like a film crew would do it. You know, I mean, you shoot a film, and it's like, you know, the lighting is obviously not really there. Like, it, it's really there when they film it, but it's not like, you know, they can't use the natural lighting of the room because the natural right lighting of the room is not correct for shooting the scene. It's going to be like that, where it's like, you figure out the tricks, but you still have to know, you know, your light theory, your, how, how strong lights are, what lights to use, like that kind of stuff. Um, so it's just like a change in tools rather than... Let's, let's see if I can get this. I'm, go I'm, go I'm going focus mode on this one. I've got three health, and it's the close bump. Really? Really? I, I dived in too soon. There's a, bit of, there's a bit of fire. There's a little bit of fire surrounding me. I am just going to bail out of that. Okay. Nope. 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 Yeah. Look at that. And I long jump too soon. And then I touch that, and I'm now gonna ruin it for myself. Bit fun. Oh. Gosh, I I'm, I'm not ready to, to get immediately after him after he charges. Oh my gosh, really? It's in the lava! It's in the lava! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, oh, I'm struggling so hard on this! This has been this has been a stream so much, so full of struggle. I don't remember this guy being anywhere near this obnoxiously hard. I'm I'm having a, a real like hard time doing it. Someone's gonna show me it's just like, oh kids can do it. I, I mean, fair enough, and, and granted, I did it as a kid, so, yeah. Oh, maybe I should be closer, I'm sorry, that's just towards me, but yeah, like... Alright. I seem to struggle, like, hitting, hitting the foot while well, that was the first one, so... There goes that theory. Alright, I've got the front three. The front three's down, so, uh... 
Alright, now I'm angry. Guys, if you did spike the difficulty a bit for the original, I think it hits a real nice spot. Yeah, like, it's it's definitely nice to, to be a bit harder, get, knowing that it is a sequel. Uh, I, I mentioned this at the beginning of the stream, but, like, games that know they're a sequel, and not just, like... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. See, I would like to not be on him. I would like to not be on him. He needs to tame that dragon. Alright, let's go dash in. <sighs> Come on! Come on! Someone's gonna say I just concede and get the, get the life stream, and I'm like, no! I have hubris. I'm nearly there, like, every time, but I'm not there last time. <laughs> it's always like, I've hit 5 out of 6 as well, I'm always just struggling to hit the last one, but it's a different one every time. So, oh, What is, like, the, the ideal, like, strategy on this? It's just, one, two, three. Like, I can, I can do that, now he's angry. I'm curious, like, is there something I did as a kid that I've completely missed while replaying this? Because I've I struggled in the original gob double dot double double whatever his name is. I struggled on that a bit as well when I was replaying it. Ah, oh, there there it goes. Let's hit the back three first. Maybe. Now I gotta hit the back one. I feel like there's more meteors if I wait too long. Like, they start disappearing. I didn't recall them, like, being too... too prominent. It does feel like a small plant. It is... The gut is going very weird over there. First try. No hits. Actually, did I get hit? Oh, yeah, I think I did. First try! First try! No one saw any of the bad attempts. Well, another weird dragon dead. Hooray! Hurrah! Dragons are extinct. You've done it, Mario. You think it's weird that there's a possibility that dragons used to exist and then they were all hunted down? Yeah. And then they buried the bones so far in the ground that archaeologists haven't found them. 14 minutes! Ugh. Well, that is the connection to... I think that actually would be the end of the game. Ah! You've been through a lot lately. Maybe you should take a break for a while. You know what, actually? Let's do it. Let's do it. I was thinking, it's like, okay, I gotta do 100 stars, or reach 100 stars in the stream. I'm at 99, and now I have access to Bowser. Let's do it. Alright, time for the grand finale, Captain. Somewhere in there, your princess is waiting. What a surprise! It's a comet! It looks like power stars weren't the only things getting eaten up around here. It looks like Blah wants to get even bigger! You need to stop that Blah monster before he devours everything in this path. Get in there and show him what you got. So here we are, the final, oh, oh, cutscene, the final <coughs> level in the game, Bowser's Galaxy Generator. I know I skipped a couple of galaxies, but I 
I would like to play this. I think it's a, this would be fitting for an end of stream. Just kind of start to get. Bowser's Fortified Fortress. I love this level. This level is great. Does it have dramatic music? Yes. Heck yeah, it does. What are the Lewis doing? Hi. This is a fight to save your special one, Mario. Be careful out there. Don't give up, no matter what. Other than that, it is kind of a Bowser level, but it's also a Volcano Bowser level. There's been a, quite a number of Volcano levels, haven't there? Um, volcanoes, like, Volcano Planets. You can't, you can't really have, like, planets that lopsided, can you? I don't know. So, here we got more Hammer Bros. Everyone's favorite enemies. Kick him in the face. Let's not lose that live stream just yet. Oh, oh, sorry. Computer decided to have a computer moment. Windows update, I'll just say. We got the flower. We got the Gusty Gardens flower. He just floated down. Firing all these fireballs. Bowser's just like, ah, oh, oh, there goes the, the live stream. And there goes an extra, extra bit of health, just, just for good measure. I would like to pick that up. I, I just like glance over the mail tomorrow. Here we go. Dig to the ground. To the other side. Oh, that's how gravity works, right? So I believe you're gonna make sure you don't get. Well, okay, there's a draw at the other side, so it doesn't really matter too much. But oh, maybe you don't get it. You keep the drill, and then oh, got to dig to the other side. Oh. Nah, this, this level is just like, it's full of, just, you know, all the ideas in such a great way. Well, not, not all the ideas, but it's a, it's a nice, good, fun final level. There we go. They put a black hole at the end of this, like, cylindrical planet. What other kinds of cylindrical planets do we have? Ah, yes, the, uh, circular side-scroller platformer one. You get to do the, the Bowser platforms that rise to the sky. I believe it's going to hit the lava pretty soon, isn't it? Yep, there it is. Don't go too high. And down I go. Woo! Well, at least I can get another live stream, why not? That was their fault for adding all those coins there. There we go, up we go. A little bit of wind. Oh, I wish I had a little bit of wind on that one. There we go. All good. Have a happy Luma. Go on and save your special one and return to us safely. I'm curious what a combat medal is. I haven't seen it yet. It's probably sitting... Sitting close. This is a thing I haven't seen in a while. I haven't seen Yoshi in a while. There's probably a, a star with Yoshi in it. I just kind of glanced over, but even then, I don't think I would have seen Yoshi the whole... the whole stream otherwise. So, there you go. Get him with the boomerang. Oh, <laughs> didn't quite get him with the boomerang. Who put this one up here? That's a that's a gutsy spot. Okay, so two kick. Oh, 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 oh. One day I'll I'll relearn that infinite flutter. But until then, oh. I see Yoshi. All right, let's get him with the one. Can I get him in one fell swoop? Not particularly. It's not easy getting with the boomerang. You can, but it's not easy. 
There you go, you gotta hot step pepper your way through. It's getting a bit tight. Gotta crouch. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't quite get the timing right when I tried it a few streams ago. Um, I'd done it before, just couldn't really, couldn't really quite get it. I appreciate it, by the way, if you get a live stream, sorry, a life shroom, after you've gotten a life shroom, you just get a one. So, good on him. There's the Comet Metal, just chilling there. There's a blog. Got a hop. It's not easy, yeah. Uh... There you go. Nice, 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 nice. Ah, oh, it's 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 all ogre now. It's all ogre. Get back coin. That was the most unfortunate way to ruin that. Oh, I'm all the way back here. Oh, that's a that's a very painful. I could I could I could die at more convenient points in time, but all right, what 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 factor do I blame in that one? Uh, I blame the sensor bar. I don't know. Do people still do that? Do people like go like, ah, it was the hardware that I, that I played it on or something? Granted, it is a third-party sensor bar because it's one that plugs into USB, so but it should be the remote reporting to the computer that really indicates it, so it's my loss for not using a better set of uh, two, two, uh, two candles. Isn't that the, isn't that the, the key strat? Just use two candles. I'd rather not light two candles in front of me, but I could probably just use anything. The uh, dolphin bar seems to work okay. Most of my needs. Alright, take two against the blogs. So I don't know why I slipped earlier, but we'll just go with that. I appreciate that, yeah, these blocks just go straight into a blog. And that's what this is for, and I should have gotten this a bit soon. Oh. All good, all good, all good. Alright, and here we are! Dying like 30 seconds before the end of the bit. I appreciate Yoshi gives you a wave as you go up the flagpole. And what's at the top of the flagpole? Why yes! Another life shroom, if you really needed another life shroom. Okay. And other than that, it's uh... Same as it ever was, ground pounding the weird uh, floating media. They really love their medias in this game, I don't remember there being too many in the first game. Or at least like... Ones of yeah, like the first game had some, not too many, not too many. They really love them in this game. So sucked into the portal, we are introduced to. You wouldn't believe it. It was just Bowser the whole time. Isn't that kind of weird? Oh, give it up already! Why won't you stop trying to mess up my awesome master plan? I'm building my new galactic empire right here, and you can't stop me. Why don't you just run off and go find some green pipe to hide in? <laughs> I'm surprised that did not kill my voice as hard. That peach bubble. Ooh, did that sound... I'm gonna assume that was Big Crush because of the bubble. Can't you see that I'm busy here? I don't have time to chat, so let's cut this short, shorty. Well, oh. Well, he is very big. She looks so happy. <laughs> you think Peach would have gotten Stockholm Syndrome by now? How many times do you get kidnapped before you just accept it? Well, the, the lines go vertically this time. Now I'm gonna fire some meteors. More rings. Watch out for the vertical rings there. I am so far off, off the cuffs on that one. Just stomp on him with the cut. He could. Ba Bowser could do a lot to get Mario right now. Like, just not make the meteors. Oh, 
Oh, I'm, I'm, oh. No, I went, I, I, I pressed right and decided to go around the other side of the planet. It's on me. I mean, commit dinner? <laughs> I would commit dinner. Alright. Time to stop saying this fight is easy and actually get a hidden. That'd be kind of nice. I appreciate the, uh, the little ground pound icons are always pointing the right way. It's a nice touch. Daenerys' punch feel like it's got a bigger, like, shock radius each time as well. Yeah, my only thing with uh, this final boss, and I guess Galaxy 1 is incredibly guilty of this as well, it's, uh, it's the same fight you've done over and over again. I know Mario 64 did that, but, like, no, you improve upon it. So. Now I'm angry. It keeps punching. This time... You gotta watch the lines, cause, uh, do they come back at you? No, oh, they don't. Okay. Oh wait, the fire. I forgot the fire. Here it comes for the, the king punch. I, I tripped. I tripped over the jump rope. That's a thing that no one does anymore. No one does jump rope anymore. Jump rope is a, a long forgotten art. Uh, yeah, four hits again. I don't. It, the climax is a little bit lost on this one. I don't know. Like, I will say, Galaxy 2 does not do the Bowser fights as much justice as the first game. Also, you get sucked into oblivion. And I picked up some star bits really late again. Cool. That was it, by the way. Here we are. The cowboy. I finally got it. Or oh, I got another one. I got two this stream, didn't I? Let's walk into it and... Ah, kidding. <laughs> nom nom nom. He did commit dinner. He just ate the cowboy star instead. Now I'm big? Hey, guess what, Mario? Breathe a sigh of relief, because it'll be your last. Know why? Because this is finally the end. The end of you! I just picked up another star bit. So this final bit, there you go. Look at that. It's a different boss fight. You've just got to launch these. you just got to, like, be precise. Get them. Or, or you could just miss like me. You could keep missing like me. You could keep missing like me. I guess it gets closer, so... Oh. The music's great as well, man. Meteors! They love the meteors! What can I say? Get him in the face. It's a few hits. It's it's something small, but it's something. Oh, my power's gone. My empire shrinking. My huge cake never gonna slice. Oh. And there he goes back into. He fell into a black hole like one minute ago. <laughs> he's he's doing a rerun, and a uh, big explosion. Well, space explosion. Wonderful flowers on this wonderfully oxygen housed planet, and here comes Peach. Going away. See you, Peach. Oh, she came back. There you go. Bit of tradition. Peach flown down. Bowser Ada. Oh my gosh. Uh, she was just chilling. Wait. Wait, no. Yeah, no, yeah. She would have had the grand stuff. Didn't Bowser's Inside Story come out the year before this? Dude, check out what's on the other side of the planet. Like Star Bits. Who put them here? Whee! Bowser's Inside Story, I guess you already ate, like, Mario... Mario and Luigi, so... It's only a matter of time before you ate Peach. There you go! One more Grand Star under the belt. Actually, the last Grand Star, because... That's it! That's the, uh... 
the soft end of the game, we'd say, in the industry. Would you look at that? Oh, there it goes. Peach says it's beautiful. Mario says, oh, wait. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's like, it's a 6 1, bro. It's a 6 grand star. You know, look at this weird thing. That's a pretty cool place. Triangle, triangle, X, triangle, X, triangle! I always thought we would meet again. Says the big purple thing. Okay, sure. Mama! Oh. I am Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. I have been waiting for all your PlayStation Luma. It is, it is, uh, at least it's a PlayStation, not Squid Game. That would have been even worse. An evil monster took out our star power and I was separate from my precious little one. But I knew we'd see each other again. Because... There is a force that binds us, defying even time and space. That's right, it's the midichlorians all along. Not even the laws of the universe can stop it. That's called gravity, which is the law in the universe. Here's Rosalina's dad. There's the desire to be reunited with someone who is important to you. That pool is what brought us together. It's a weird way to like reuse the space motif in something kind of ham-fisted, but sure. Sure. It's not some mere whim of the stars. I am sure of that. Thank you. Now, of course, someone would go, Ah, is this like the two seconds of screen time Rosalina gets in this game? And the answer is yes. They made the sequel. They put Rosalina in uh, Mario Kart Wii. And they've continued putting Rosalina in a fair number of games, like Smash, after this. Because she wasn't in the Smash Brawl yet. Uh, but in this game, nah, Rosalina just kind of gets to be this weird apparition in front of the, the uh, Comet Observatory. Not even, like, physically there, but sure. Oh, and off into space. Although, I guess I did mention that the Comet <gasps> Observatory comes past, like, every, uh... Did it, oh, wait, no, that was the first game. I was saying, like, did they, did they say it happened at the beginning? Or was that just a media shower? The little one was reunited with a special someone. Oh, rip, oh, yeah, rip the hat, by the way. Mario's probably sitting on a bunch of them. He loses them all the time, doesn't he? And you too, pal, am I right? Alright, you two, it's time to get you back to your home planet. Wahoo. If this was Mario 64, Mario would take a little bit of extra damage every time he gets hit. Technically, the ship has a hat, so... Has it got a pass, or what? Who knows? Well, Team Mario is blasting off again, and that is, indeed, the uh, the soft ending of the game. This is uh, this still going to be probably another five more streams. We'll see how, how, uh, how well it goes at the end. Uh, but that is most of what is to begin Super Mario Galaxy 2. I still love this game, and I would still say I prefer it over the original. Um, just because I feel like it just, it's its more playful. It toys around with its ideas a bit more. Um, it doesn't feel like it's repeating things as much, although it still, still suffers from the Daredevil Comet kind of syndrome. Um, and I still think in hindsight, like, it's weird, because Nintendo is not one to make too many direct sequels nowadays. Uh, although Splatoon 3 is still happening, and honestly, that's... Am I bad for saying it's more of the same game? Who knows, but... Uh... Oh, I guess there's a Breath of the Wild 2 coming out as well. And yes, you do get to play the game and pick up star bits during this bit, so... Everyone likes the moon planet. Oh, oh no, Mario! Oh no, what's going on? What's going on? It's going a bit too hard. I like this planet here. Very neat. We make a Mario game with fixed camera angles. How about that? I like these little storybook transitions as well. Look at these coins they hit around here. 1D Mario game? Oh boy. Oh, 
down the slope he goes. I, I also love, by the way, that yes, the hat is still off. It's kind of weird as well, because there's no, like, other point in the game I can think of where Mario's hat does fall off. So, I don't know, they just, just did it for here. I have completely lost the sight of the snowball. There you go. Oh, I can't roll it too far forward. There's the orchestra. I will say again, uh, I love the soundtrack in both of these games, and I think it's actually quite amazing that, um, you know, I, there's a number of games that will hire an orchestra. Like, I guess, I guess, like, you know, an existing orchestra or something like that. Them naming it the Super Mario Galaxy Orchestra just makes me think, like, you know, did they put in all the work? Did they do a tour of this? I'm missing it, they're still around, but... Rhythm games are one-dimensional, right? Um... They're technically one-dimensional with multiple tracks, maybe? But technically, yes. <laughs> like, it would just be hit thing at time. That is a picture of the face ship. It's a bit easier to tell when you're digitally outputting. Oh yeah, everyone's favorite bit. The Bowser... The Bowser uh, bullying stage of the, the game. Also, why is Bowser tiny? He ate too much cowboy. Uh, did I miss Bill Trinan? I think I missed him in these credits. And if he wasn't there... What is he doing? He hasn't shown up in any, any weird things and done any weird gags. He probably still works at Nintendo, I'm not gonna like rip on him, but it's just like... Isn't it weird that like there was a period where Nintendo was doing really, really, you know, like... Uh... I'm gonna say trendy marketing things, and it just seems to like not be the case anymore. I just like release and announce games. I'm <laughs> just coming up to the camera. This is the perfect, the perfect opportunity if you knew how to... You like how the camera's pausing because I'm jumping off and landing on Yoshi as well. <laughs> I thought that was interesting. The end. So yeah, that's that's the soft end of the game. Thank you so much for playing my game. But there's still 120 stars total, and uh, so there'll still be another stream after this, and then uh, we'll gauge what happens afterwards. But there's a special world and a message sent to the Wii message board. That's cool. Um, but yeah, if I just glance back into the into the game, let's just boot right into it. World S, or Worlds. So here's Blubber. What? You're back? I mean, hey, you're back. I see you're ready for more. It's written all over your face. Onward then. There's still more power stars out there, Captain. So, uh, oh. I guess I don't have my, um, my star, my one-ups, don't I? Still, still looking for power stars? If you need any help from me, just look for the L and start your Mario. I'll switch with you anytime, bro. Oh yeah, you can you can now switch to Luigi on the ship. So you just start every level with Luigi. There you go. Uh, but yeah, no. There's another another galaxy. So, yeah, I didn't get the, the star in Battle Belt. We got the Hungry Loomer and whatever galaxy was after him as well. But in here is... One last galaxy. One very, very last galaxy. Wow, can you believe it? This must be that strange, legendary world we've been hearing rumors about. There are even more power stars around here. So, let's go get them, Captain. Uh, but yeah, there's... A bunch of... bunch of bonus worlds, we'll just say that. Nothing too fancy, but they do start requiring you to basically pick up all the power stars. And then have 2,000 star bits. Which I actually think I'll be alright, but one very cruel last one. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get to that when we get to that. That'll be, uh, that'll be fun, but... Uh, in the time being, just to recap what happened this, uh, this stream, uh, picked up the lingering star in... Did I finish Slip Sand? I think I did the Hungry Loom when I started, Fleet Glide. No, I did just Slip... Yeah, Slip Sand, so... What was that? Uh, Shiver Burn, where it was cold and hot at the same time. They've never done that before. We flew on Fluzzard yet again. Bunch of... Bunch of comets all over the place. And then Lava Lava Land. Weird spinning block land and galaxy that definitely is 100% original. And then finishing the game. So, with that, I would like to return to the ship. We can have this lovely black hole engulfing everything behind Mario. That's a that's very terrifying. But yeah, other than that, I would like to thank you all so very much for watching the stream. So if you did enjoy it, you can follow. I just stream every week, so I'll just. We'll continue on next week as we are. 
Um, and if you miss bits of this and you want to see bits, uh, obviously the Twitch VODs are there, but uh, if you're on YouTube, you can watch it on YouTube, where it's in a slightly higher quality, because you can do that to YouTube, you can upload in a slightly higher quality to what Twitch gets. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, the Twitch kind of really up, up the rates, aren't they? Uh, if you're a fanboy of Sonic, I hope you really appreciated me ripping into Sonic Adventure. Uh, and if you're not a fanboy of Sonic, then please join in laughing at uh, people who still enjoy Sonic Adventure. Uh, that's okay. I'm a bit too rough on them. Other than that, make sure you all uh, eat your greens, uh, stay safe, look both ways, brush your teeth. Uh, what, what else? Make sure you turn off the stove? I don't know. Some of these start sound like threats after a while. I don't know. Just homely things. <laughs> All right. Have a good one, everyone.